After a disappointing 2014 season, the Sooners have new offensive philosophies that could get them back on top. This is Oklahoma football on the Big 12 Digital Network. Big break, 20, P line, five, touchdown, Oklahoma. The transition was really pretty seamless. Our players have really taken to the new system. Oklahoma coach Bob Stoops reworked his staff and hired Lincoln Riley as the team's offensive coordinator. As I was looking to hire somebody, I looked at what are the top total offenses in the country. I looked at what are the top 15 total offenses in the country. Uh, and, and six of the top 13 were from this family of, of from Hal Mummy, Mike Leach, however you want to put it, it, from this family of offense. I've seen immediately within the first couple weeks of us being that offense, I realized this works. You know, this is good stuff. Uh, so I, I'm very excited about what we're going to do. And we're still, just because it's it's air raid, we got we got, we got got Samaje in the backfield. We got some other running backs that can really run the ball. Coach Biedenbo, uh, would, he, I don't think he'll accept us not running the ball either. No matter what the new offense and the quarterback position brings to the table, the Sooners attack figures to rely heavily on sophomore running back Samaje Pirine. Now, Samaj, uh, it, it's hard to improve on, on where he was, but I, I believe he will. He's such, a, again, a, a great, great worker, uh, very humble guy that's always hungry. I don't even know if he can even get better. He, I mean, good grief. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know if there's anything he can do to get better. I mean, he's, he, he's, a rare, he's a rare player. He's a rare guy. Oklahoma's defense allowed an average of 35 points in the five losses last season. So this season, the Sooners need to get better on that side of the ball. I feel like on defense, uh, we have, uh, we, with all the guys that are back, we have a chance to make improvement just from experience. The guys have matured, you know, Got guys, guys have, uh, uh, they had a year of experience, you know what I mean? That's, that can only make them better, you know, they know, the, they, they know the defense, they know the ins and out of it, they know where their other safety is going to be at or where that corner is going to be at. And that's something that's, that's going to make us better. Well, after an 8-5 and five season and a lot of staff changes, there are a lot of question marks in Norman. Mitch, how do you think things are going to shake out for the Sooners this season? Well, I think they're going to shake out pretty good, but experience is going to play the biggest factor for the Sooners this season. A necessary component that Bob Stoops and his teams have had in the past and will especially need this season. Offensively, OU returns 96% of its total yards game from last year's team, which is a mark that tops the Big 12 in 2015. Oklahoma ranked 102nd in the country during drives that ended without first downs or a touchdown. Surely the number will have to be improved upon this season if the Sooners want to compete for a Big 12 championship and be in the national spotlight. One of the most eye-opening parts of this year's team is the lack of starts on the offensive line. Just 28 combined career starts make up OU's front line in 2015, a number that ranks 9th in the Big 12 and 120th out of 128 nationally. Surely you can talk about the experience around other parts of the football, but Oklahoma's front will have to learn quickly in order to make this fast-paced offense successful. The Sooners open their season at home against Akron on September 5th. Well, Mitch, that wraps up our look at Oklahoma for the upcoming season. For Mitch Gerber, I'm Wendell Barnhouse for the Big 12 Digital Network.